This is a video showing the calibration of the force sensor within the high resolution force sensor within PASCO Capstem. I've previously connected a high resolution force sensor to my interface. Because I'll be doing the calibration by hanging a mass from the sensor, I'll need to change the sense of the force measurement. To do that, I'll click on the gear next to the icon for the high resolution force sensor and then I'm going to make sure that the change sign button is checked and I'll select OK. Once I've done that I'm going to select the calibration button. By default, since it's the only calibratable sensor I have attached, it defaults to force. I'll select the next button. It will again default to the force measurement within the sensor. From the third menu item I'm going to select two standards, two point and then select Next. I have my force sensor mounted vertically with the hook pointing down so that I can hang the mass from it. I'm going to tear the sensor to zero it out to make sure that the force from the hook is removed so that it's only measuring the mass that we're going to hang from the hook. To do very close work with this sensor, please make sure that you have it plugged in for at least two minutes prior to the calibration, as there will be some warm-up time for the electronics. Once I've selected my standard value, and um, I can then select set the current value to standard value, it will then move me to the next value in which I'll uh, calibrate the second point. So I'm now going to very gently hang my known mass from the hook and you'll see the values changing there. I have a uh, much smaller mass than the full 50 Newton value that the sensor can take. It's best to use um, a larger mass than this so that you can have it calibrated over the full scale of the sensor. So the mass that I'm using actually is one of the 250 gram masses that we have for our cart system and uh, the measurement that uh, I've calculated for this is 2.48 uh, newtons which is actually displayed as the standard value. So I'll go ahead and uh, select, since that is the correct value, I'll go ahead and enter in my standard uh, which is actually identical to my current value which is 2.482 newtons. And then I'll click on set current value to standard value we can review the calibration and accept the values if that's uh, correct. So it has um, the value set here. And if I'm happy with the calibration, I can click on Finish. I'm now ready to remove the, the mass from the sensor and then uh, apply it to any experiments that I'll be using. One usage note is please make sure that you have the force sensor in the same orientation that you'll be using it in prior to tearing it so that any self-weight of the load cell can be removed.